Off into half six. Singly, no, but there goes the Wolfman up on the inside now. The Wolfman up to take the lead. Kenny had a notion right there in between horses with pace two. And next is Boss Logic. And then it's back to No Sense with one beaten now. It's Tis Mandate in the back of the pack. Kenny had a notion takes off of the pace now from the Wolfman in second and singly and on the outside in third position. Here's the favorite, No Sense, out in the clear in fourth and four off the pacemaker. Followed by Boss Logic on the inside allowed to settle and Tis Mandate ridden along in the back of the pack. Kenny had an ocean into the far turn with a half mile left to go, a neck in front from Singlino there on the outside. No sense is getting closer, just two from the lead, and it's the Wolfman on the inside. Boss Logic working a bit hard now with three furlongs left to go, and it is Tis Mandate in the back of the pack. Singlino to take the lead from Kenny had an ocean inside, and it is no sense up there looming three deep, and the Wolfman just in behind the lead racing in fourth. They're at the top of the stretch, Singlino, no sense, and Kenny had a notion under pressure to stay on. It's the Wolfman right just in behind the horses now with three sixteenths of a mile left to go as No Sense has a narrow lead. No Sense trying to kick away. No Sense roused to a narrow lead. Kenny had a notion is coming back on the rail. Kenny had a notion on the inside coming right on back for more. Kenny had a notion on the inside. No Sense, No Sense. Working for every penny in the photo there with Kenny had a notion. Then it was Sing, Glino and Tisman out of the outside and the Wolfman. They're off the gin talking stakes here. Street loot bouncing right out on top. Street loot from Fraudulent Charge. Whiskey and Rye and Out of Sorts is in the back as the quartet moves on to the main track. Pace controlling out there for Xavier Perez on Street loot, who leads at an easy clip early. Leads three quarters of a length. It's Whiskey and Rye in second and Out of Sorts on the outside and Fraudulent Charge is fourth of the four. Past that five for a long mark. Street loot. Not much pressure at all. In fact, no pressure. Just whiskey and rye. Right there, three quarters of a length behind in second. And another two. And it's fraudulent charge. And out of sorts is on the outside. Has now five to make up into the far turn. Where it's street. Loot leading the way. A measured half length. Street loot from Whiskey and Rye in second. Out of sorts is in third position now and fraudulent charge driven in fourth. Two and a half furlongs left to go in the gin talking. And it is Street Loot who popped the latches right on top. Whiskey and Rye now a length and a half behind and out of sorts tries to rally on the far, far outside and fraudulent charge saving ground into the stretch with a furlong and a half left to run. And Street Loot is set down under a drive by Xavier Perez. Leads by some three lengths and fraudulent charge on the inside now from out of sorts is back in third they're in that last furlong and street loot with fraudulent charge giving it a good try late street loot 
and fraudulent charge. Street loot, fraudulent charge in the gin, talking in a photo, out of sorts, and a whiskey and rye. Tight photo hold all two. Lined up. And they're off in the Anne Arundel County Stags. Going to lead there is Malibu Beauty and the rail guns blazing, moving right on through. And Targe has some early speed, three wide, first turn run. Miss Leslie settles right off the speed from fourth position, back to Bucky's Charm. Here's the grass is blue, second last position. And Zayarat is in the back of the pack now, only seven lengths from the front. Held by Malibu Beauty, who leads the way from Targe in second and guns blazing inside in third. Then it is Bucky's Charm in fourth position. And between horses, Miss Leslie's pent up there in fifth. The outside is they arrive and last is the grass is blue the favorite trailing the field now some six and a half off the pace it's a moderate pace going for Malibu Beauty in front three quarters of a length from Targe in second Bucky's chime and guns blazing is fourth still inside there and they are followed on the outside by Zaya Rod and Miss Leslie now second last position and the grass is blue still the back heading into the far turn not much change four furlongs left to go Malibu Beauty from Targe by about a half length and Bucky's charm is in third guns blazing then Miss Leslie is in fifth. Zayer out under a full ride. Scrubbed on about three deep of the turn. And trailing is the grass is blue with three furlongs left to go. Malibu Beauty from Ch Targe and Bucky's Charm on the outside. Just behind his guns blazing in fourth. And now the grass is blue trying to get underway. But out wide, his second last position coming widest of them all into the stretch. Miss Leslie right there with a chance to wide open affair as they turn for home. It is Bucky's Charm just in front now. Here the grass is blue the outside, charging hard to center of the track. The grass is blue on the outside, reaching. Bucky's Charm's trying to hold. Bucky's Charm, the grass is blue. Miss Leslie, late momentum between horses. Miss Leslie, gamely. Miss Leslie, Miss Leslie in a photo finish there with Bucky's Charm. A thrilling photo in the Anne Arundel County, and the grass is blue is third. And then in fourth position was Malibu Beauty. Minute four.
Away in the Howard County Stakes. Brett Swirl, Irawan, here's Ain't the Beer Cold. Hustled out of the gate for that speed, and Ain't the Beer Cold gunning out for the lead. Is trying to get over into the first turn, and indeed does, and clears, and over to the rail, near the rail. Ain't the Beer Cold just in front now. Ain't the Beer Cold is Erewhon is on the chase in the second spot alongside his Brett's World. In third position, and Shaq Queen King in the clear on the outside. Twitty City, then Market Cap, and last of them all is Reassured, who trails now some 11 to 12 lengths off the pace of Ain't the Beer Cold, who Gun for the lead and now tries to slow it up a little bit. Leads it about a length from Brett's World in the second spot. Shaq Queen King, 20 City on the outside. Erewhon is in the inside in that group. Only two and a half from the front. Then Market Cap in behind. Uh, that group of runners, another five lengths back and reassured yet to pick it up from the back of the pack. Ain't the beer cold and Angel Cruz in front. Shaq Queen King getting closer. Three quarters of a length behind with a half mile left to go. Shaq Queen King coming at eight to beer cold. Ain't the beer cold and neck in front from Shaq. Queen King. Erewhon is three lengths to close in now. Market cap on the outside of the tiring Twitty City. Brett's World has given up. Drop to last position. Passed by Reassured. Has still got a lot to do. Two and a half furlongs left to go. Shaq Queen King ain't a beer cold. Digging down for more as they head toward the quarter pole. Five lengths back and it's Erewhon and Market cap on the outside. Turning in ain't a beer cold. Very game. Shaq Queen King on the outside attempting to push that head in front. Shaq Queen King ain't a beer cold. Resilient under a drive on the inside. A real battle in the final furlong. They're well clear now. Arrow one and then market cap and reassured his close a gap from the back of the pack. But it's Shaq Queen King and determined ain't a beer cold. Ain't a beer cold. Ain't a beer cold in a photo. Shaq Queen King. Shaq Queen King and ain't a beer cold. I believe it's Shaq Queen King and a three-way go for third. Arrow one is there and reassured on the outside and market cap. Yet another photo here on Christmas Tide Stakes Day. Cruz. Off of the Willa on the move stakes. Don't let sweet fool you. Like a shot on the inside when Malibu mischief. They're one too early. Then it's Club Car for the outside, chasing in third position. Hibiscus Punch and Parisian Divas fifth inside. And then Never Enough Time is next in Suggestive Honor. And Shiza is in the back of the pack. Eight lengths off the pace of Don't Let Sweet Fool You, who leads Malibu mischief by about a half length, heading into the turn run. Length and a half more in Club Car, Never Enough Time. And Hibiscus Punch near the inside. Then back of the pack with Suggestive Honor, Parisian and Divas lost a little bit of ground to the back of the pack two and Shiza trailing the field. Midpoint of the turn, don't let Sweet fool you. Malibu Mischief testing her every step of the way on the outside. Club cars driven in third position and Hibiscus Punch on the inside racing fourth as they reach the top of the stretch now. It's don't let Sweet fool you digging down to the inside and Malibu Mischief on the outside. They're head to head for the lead toward that final furlong. Club car and Hibiscus Punch. Don't let Sweet fool you turning back Malibu Mischief with a furlong left to go. Now she's open daylight. Don't let Sweet fool you and have a lot heavy on Toledo and a Willa on the move stakes. Don't let Sweet fool you. Sweet five in a row. Don't let Sweet fool you. Hibiscus Punch picks up second from Malibu Mischief and Club Car. And never enough time. Minute 9.47.
and are off the day's friend stakes. Starts to victory, Penguin Power firing up on the outside, and Lebda away running in third, and here's Lakai, one more great time, racing fifth, only four and a half from the front. They're followed by Where She Told Me To Go, allowed to settle to the back of the pack, and Taco Supreme trailing on the inside, the only six and a half lengths from the front, held by Charge to Victory and pushed by Penguin Power on the outside. Charge to Victory heading into the turn now from Penguin Power. It's a gap of three, and Lebda's traveling third position, and now Lakai's getting underway from the inside. Inside moving to fourth and one more great time where she told me to go and Taco Supreme down on the inside. Now eight lengths front to back with two and a half furlongs left to run. Charge to victory. Penguin power still to the attack of the outside. Lebda's two lengths off them in third. Likai Taco Supreme suddenly on the scene down on the inside. Here comes Taco Supreme charging hard from fourth almost third. Now the far outside where she told me to go is kicking wide open affair where she told me to go from Penguin power. Taco Supreme now in between horses coming on gamely too where she told me to go where she told me to go sharp to win by a half length from taco supreme and his penguin power and lakai followed by lebda i'm in at 8.55 In the gate. And they're off in the native dancer stakes. Air token going right to the front from Saratoga Jack. Here's Harper's first ride, traveling third position, and Cord Maker into the first turn run. And just in behind that group, we have next in the back of the pack is Hal Pass and Forewarned and VIP Ticket on the outside. So around that turn they go, and Saratoga Jack takes off to a clear advantage by two and a half. Harper's first stride, the favorite tracking along the second spot. And then it is Cord Maker in third position and Hall Pass on the outside. Air Tokens drop back a bit in fifth position, allowed to settle some six to seven from the pace. And VIP Ticket is next and forewarned on the inside. Now about 10 lengths from front to back with five and a half furlongs left to go. Saratoga Jack by two from Harper's first ride and Cord Maker is right there and so too Hall Pass. They're all in chase of Saratoga Jack. He's got the lead a length and a half heading for the turn. Harper's first ride, Cord Maker's third of between horses and Hall Pass on the outside. Then it's a break of some five lengths back and Air Token now has six and a half to make up around that far turn with three furlongs left VIP ticket and forewarned are the two in the back. Saratoga Jack with Harper's first ride. Now, Harper's first ride engaging that front running Saratoga Jack with two and a half furlongs left. Cord Maker, Air Token getting on the scene there again from fourth. They're at the top of the stretch. Harper's first ride with Cord Maker on the outside. Cord Maker, Harper's first ride to battle it out for the final furlong and a half with Air Token third Saratoga Jack. Then in between horses is forewarned for a share in VIP ticket. Harper's first ride in front from Cord Maker. Harper's first ride getting away from Cord Cord Maker and the inside is 4 1 trying to run up into the exacta here, but it's going to be Harper's first ride and Angel Cruz to do it from 4 1. Then Cord Maker and Air Token and VIP ticket in the Native Dancer Stakes. Minute 48 56.
Mile and an eighth in the Allaire Dupont. And they're off. Bit of an awkward beginning for a little less talk. Another broad two. Here's Edis 2 out first, a nice princess. The outside needs supervision with the blinkers on, fired up on the far outside there. His landing zone down to the rail into the first turn as they sort and shuffled out of there as Ice Princess is now back and forth. Wicked Awesome is next in fifth, and it's another broad at the back of the pack as a little less talk, who is seventh early on. Around that turn, past the seven ace pole, needs supervision. Showing the way from landing zone just second, and it is two of the outside. Ice Princess travels fourth. Then it's Wicked Awesome inside fifth. And another broad is next, and trailing the field is still a little less talk. It's Need Supervision, the one to catch. Need Supervision at a control clip out there leads about a length from landing zone, and it is two on the outside. Called on for a little more run, five ace out. Need Supervision still got the lead, though. Need Supervision landing zone, and it is two the far outside, racing third about three path. Wicked Awesome and Ice Princess is next. And they're followed by another broad, and a little less talk as they bunch up. Only five, six lengths will cover them. Into the turn, landing zone goes on. Landing zone and it is two on the outside and needs supervision still in the battle on the inside needs supervision ultra game on the outside and it is two in between horses landing zone three across the track still with a quarter of a mile left to go wicked awesome is racing fourth and another broad on the inside in fifth they're at the top of the stretch it is two it is two finally getting away now it is two by two out in the center is wicked awesome trying to bridge the gap for that final furlong it is two s for a full sprint home now for wicked awesome so Second. Then it's landing zone and needs supervision with a 16th to go. It is two. Toledo looking for a triple. Wicked awesome second outside another broad. Closing fast. Here's it is two. It is two does it again. It's a Toledo triple. Wicked awesome. And then it was another broad in that photo followed by landing zone and ice princess. Minute 50, 57. And are off. Polish Gal was first away. Grease Lightning firing up. Speed was swirly surely up on the inside, too. And Blue Sky Venezuela is pitching in with speed. And so it's going to be swirly surely just in front. And a gang chasing on the inside. Blue Sky Venezuela just sneaking through now. In between horses is uh, Our Star, who's got early foot to Our Star just in the second spot as they charge down the back stretch run. And Polish Gal is next in between horses there, too is a joyful noise in the mix. Blue Sky Venezuela was shuffled out a little bit as they round that far turn. So Swirly Shirley clears off by two in the second now. 
The outside is our star at about three deep and polished gal and joyful noise down to the inside. A gap of three more lengths. There's patient last traveling along and beginning to improve about four wide with the quarter pole. Back to Grease Lightning and Blue Sky Venezuela and Majestic Pick with a lot to do trailing the field. Top of the stretch. They make the turn in. Swirly Shirley is that leader. Swirly Shirley with patient last charging into the center of the track in the second with one furlong to go. Swirly Shirley in front by almost three lengths of second now patient last. And Blue Sky Venezuela is third with a 16th to go. Swirly Shirley, patient last. And Blue Sky Venezuela is third. Swirly Shirley and Alexander Crispin to do it. From patient last is second, Blue Sky Venezuela. Then it was Grease Lightning, joyful noise of the photo with our star. Minute 18.09, the running time.